Good morning class, it's Mrs. Lawson. Welcome to my kitchen and I'm so glad that you've come to do some math with me today. Today we're learning to identify some fractions. The first one that we're going to be looking at is one half. And you're probably quite familiar with one half. Have you ever had to divide something evenly and share it? Probably. I want to show you what one half looks like in a circle. There's one circle here and it's divided in half. One half means that we've divided something into two pieces and that's why when we write one half there's a two on the bottom. I'm going to cut my apple in half. Have you ever shared your apple at home? And maybe someone has cut it in half for you. When we cut something in half, or we have half, both pieces are fair or even. And that's how we know we can have one half. This is one out of the two pieces that we would need to make a whole apple. It is one out of the two pieces. It was one apple. And then we divided it into two. And so this is one half of the apple. Can we divide an apple in a different way? Could we divide it not just in half, but what if we had other friends that we wanted to share it with and not just one other person? So cutting it in half just isn't enough. We have to cut it some more. I'm going to cut each half in half. So now my one apple is cut into one, two, three, four pieces. We would write that as one fourth. If we had one out of the four pieces that we needed to make a whole apple, it would be called one fourth. One out of the four pieces. So I've cut my apple in half and into fourths, or sometimes we call that quarters. And I have one more apple here, and I'm gonna try to cut this into three even pieces. <gasps> that is gonna be a little more difficult, I think. I'm gonna try, though, because we can do hard things. Do you think I got it? We'll try, see if I can break it. Oh, look at that. I was able to break my apple into one, two, three pieces. One of these pieces would be called one third or one out of the three pieces that we need to have one whole apple. Because this piece isn't one apple, it's less than one. And our fractions show less than one. I'm going to give you a closer look. I have an apple right here, but I've cut it into two pieces. Would this be one half, one third, or one fourth of an apple? You're right. It would be one half. Here's another apple. And this one is cut into one, two, three, four pieces. I'm going to take one of these pieces. Would this be one half, one third, or one fourth? That's right. It would be one fourth of an apple. It is one out of the four pieces. I have one more apple left. Here it is. And this one I cut into one, two, three pieces. Hmm. There's only one spot left 
and it's at one-third. That is one-third of an apple. This might be fun for you to try at home, but you'd need to have your mom or dad or a big sibling help you. This would also be a great way to help get ready for lunch. Class, I'm so very glad that you came to do some math with us today. We're learning that sometimes we can have less than one. Just like this piece of apple is less than one apple. It's much smaller. We started off by looking at one. If this is one apple and we break it into two pieces or cut it into two pieces, we're not eating a whole apple if we eat this piece. We're eating one out of the two pieces. We're eating half of an apple. Well, I hope that you have a yummy snack today. And you can eat practice fractions today. Hmm. And sharing and dividing with maybe some fruit or some crackers that you have or maybe you could cut a piece of toast in half. There's lots of different ways that you can practice fractions. Sometimes math can be very, very yummy. Guess what time it is at our house? It's gonna be snack time. Thanks so much for doing math with me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I miss you class, bye-bye.